Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a hit impact effect in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. So let's get started, all right? As you can see on the timeline, I've got a video clip. You can use any footage you like to create a hit impact effect. First of all, we have to find a position where we want to add a hit impact effect to the footage. In my case, I want to use this position to add the hit impact effect. This will be the beginning point of the hit impact effect. Now we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Next, click on OK. Now we can drag this adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place it on top of the video clip. Next, we have to shorten the length of the adjustment layer. In this case, I'm going to make the adjustment layer 16 frames longer. That's why let's right click on the adjustment layer and then click on speed and duration. Next, we have to make the speed and duration value around 16 frames and then click on OK. All right, the adjustment layer is ready. In the next step, let's move over to the effects panel to apply a transform effect. Then let's drag and drop the transform effect onto the adjustment layer. After that, move over to the effect controls panel to customize the transform effect. Firstly, we have to make a zoom in and zoom out animation. That's why we have to create keyframes for scale parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. And then let's move the time indicator two frames forward. Next, let's create another keyframe with the scale parameter value 110. Now we can improve the animation by right clicking on the last keyframe and then select ease in and right click on the first keyframe and then select ease out. This will make the zoom animation look a lot smoother. Next, let's move these two keyframes to the beginning of the adjustment layer and then let's create another keyframe with the value 110 and move the time indicator two frames forward. Now make the scale parameter value around 100. After that, let's move these two keyframes to the end position of the adjustment layer. All right, as you can see, with these couple of steps, we have created this simple zoom effect. Now we're going to add a bit of motion blur to the footage. You can do this by disabling the option to use composition shutter angle. And then let's set the shutter angle value around 360. Now it's time to add some shakes to the video. That's why we have to create keyframes for position parameter by clicking on this stopwatch icon. And then let's move the time indicator two frames forward. Here, we have to make the X position parameter value around 958, and then let's make the Y position value around 590. Now we can improve the animation by right clicking on the last keyframe and then select ease in, and right click on the first keyframe and then select ease out. This will make the shake effect animation look a lot smoother. Now let's move the time indicator two frames forward. Then make the X position parameter value around 1000. And then let's make the Y position value around 510. Again, let's move the time indicator two frames forward. Then make the X position parameter value around 930. And then let's make the Y position parameter value around 570. After that, we have to move the time indicator two frames forward. Then make the X position parameter value around 940. And then let's make the Y position property value around 515. Now let's move the time indicator two frames forward. Then make the X position parameter value around 975. And then let's make the Y position property value around 555. Again, let's move the time indicator two frames forward. Then make the X position parameter value around 970. And then let's make the Y position value around 532. After that, we have to move the time indicator two frames forward. Then make the X position parameter value around 950. And then let's make the Y position property value around 555. And lastly, let's move the time indicator two frames forward. And then let's make the X position parameter value around 960. And then let's make the Y position parameter value around 540. All right, now we are done. As you can see on the program monitor, the hit impact effect creation is complete. Also, you can see here in the program monitor, some motion blur has been added to the footage. And lastly, we have to apply an arithmetic effect from the effects panel. Let's drag and drop the arithmetic effect onto the adjustment layer. And now we are done. If you have multiple impact points in your video, you can copy and paste the adjustment layers on each impact point. By following these steps and incorporating the optional enhancements, you can create a dynamic hit impact effect inside Premiere Pro that will elevate your editing projects.